Oh my gosh, it smells. It smells like ass. <laughs> What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another video. Today, me and my beautiful girlfriend, Ashley, are gonna be checking out and tasting a Mexi Crate. This is the first Mexi Crate that Ashley is gonna be trying. I've done one in the past and I don't know, I didn't like it so much. Okay, so as always, I'll let you choose first. Which snack do you want to try first out of this Mexi Crate? Okay, um, <clears throat> how about we try the Mr. Oh. Wafer? It looks like it's something that's gonna be uh, kind of cheap. So mine's a little crushed up, but uh, mm -hmm. just looks like a standard wafer to be honest with you. Yeah. You ready to give it a try? Not the greatest. But just the taste is off. Boy, ranking this out of 10, I'm gonna give it a three. Yeah, like a three or four. Three or four? Yeah. Okay, that, that's, that's fair. I really don't know what it is. Try Saber, pull it up here. Um, three flavors, I'm not sure if it's taffy, if it's cream, um, if it's candy even, it doesn't really say. Hazelnut, strawberry, and vanilla. Hmm. Artificially flavored candy. I don't know how to really eat this, but you just um, like to I'm, I'm just gonna out. try to lick it just <laughs> like a pudding whenever you were in school and you didn't have a spoon. Yeah. Thicker than pudding. Mm. Um. Oh, I was digging it for a second. Hmm. No, the strawberry is pretty good. The, the strawberry is decent. If you can get, if you get, like I said, if you can get the flavors separately, they're okay. The hazelnut, I like it by itself. Strawberry, I like it by itself. This, the vanilla, I can't really taste. Um. You can definitely tell it's artificial. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give it, I'm just gonna rank it in the middle. I'm gonna give it a five out of 10 because taste-wise it's okay. It's just a little iffy on it. Yeah, um, I'd, I'd say a four, mm. four out of 10. All right, yeah. so still not the greatest. Still, I'm yeah. hoping there's something else in here that's really good. These are, ooh, they might be good. They're mango mix, Tilico. Tilico, um, maybe. Yeah. It looks like candy or uh, toffee. Let it focus there. Here, I'll let you bite off first. It's not gonna come out of the packaging. Ooh. Well, I, I don't like your Ooh. reaction. Mm -mm. No? <laughs> That's just plain gross. Zero out of ten for me. Yeah, zero out of ten. Oh, oh it says chili pepper covered. Oh, where? On on the top. So I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna give it a try. You don't have to, because it's gonna be gross like the first one or like the last one we just did. <laughs> You know what? <laughs> because I can't chew and get into the strawberry gummy part, I just have the chili powder on like in my mouth for too long. It's so hard I can't chew into it. I'm still gonna rank this a four out of 10. So the next one we're gonna try is a sucker Mandy, man, Mandy, mango. Mango sour. Yeah, let's give this a try here. Hmm. Um, it's really mango forward. I'm getting more of a mango juice flavor. Mm -hmm. It's really good. I'm gonna rank this higher than everything so far. I'm gonna give it a six out of 10 because it's a pleasant mango flavor. It doesn't really taste artificial to me. It just tastes like mango juice. So mm -hmm. how do you how do you um, rank it? Like as of right now, um, I'd say like a eight out of 10. Eight out of 10, that's yeah, really high. I really, that... I really like the flavor of it. Okay, it looks decent enough. Cocoa nugs, and there's coconuts on the uh, picture, so I think this might be good. I love coconut. Do you want me to try it first? Sure. Okay. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> oh my god. That's like an uh, almond joy. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. Uh, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of coconut 
and chocolate, but it's it's really good. So I'd give it a uh, probably a nine out of ten. Nine out of yeah. ten. So these are gel filled candies. Um, I think they're gel. It's it's hard to say what it is. Of course, it won't focus. So I just opened the corner. Um, it does spill out. Let's just try this one first. Okay. I'll open yours in a second. Mango. I thought it was gonna be lemon because it was yellow, but it's it's uh, mango. It's it's basically jello. Mm. It's hard it's hard to get it out because I only opened it like slightly. Um, if I would have had scissors here, I'd have been able to cut the top right off. Yeah, it's pretty much like the consistency of Jello. Mm -hmm. um, it's good. It kind of tastes, I don't know how artificial it is, but it tastes uh, like, again, like mango juice in my opinion. I'm going to rank it 8 out of 10. It's, it's a decent snack. Yeah, I'd say 8 out of 10 as well. Yeah, it's more on the cheaper side of things, but it's... It's pretty unique. Yeah, yeah it's, I don't... it's unique, yeah. yeah. Something you don't really see here. So next, we have something that I don't know what it is. <laughs> it comes like this. Um, I don't know if it's a candy, a fruit. It's kind of soft. And there's a big, what looks like a plastic straw. I don't even know how to open this. Oh no, I do not think this is going <laughs> to be good at all. This looks like a fruit from the first video I did. Did you watch that first video? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know some of that fruit nastiness that mm -hmm. I had and I put in my mouth? Salt and chili. Oh. Natural fruit, fruit candy with, with salt and chili. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. You know, honestly? You wanna try it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> take, a, take the smallest bite you can. Fruit it is, it does not taste like the fruit I had last time. It's salty, I think the salt helps. Mm. I'm not, I never said I was uh -uh. ranking it. <laughs> I never no. said I was ranking it high, I just wanted you to try it. <laughs> Easily a three out of 10, I could have went higher, but. Still a zero. Zero? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's still really gross. Next is another candy, and this one I can almost assure you is gonna be gross. <laughs> it's almost just like the last thing. Oh yeah, it looks. Except, uh, doesn't... Oh my I god! I can smell it from here. <laughs> you wanna smell that? Oh my gosh, it smells... It smells like ass! <laughs> I can't even bite into it, it's hard. You know what? Licking it is as disgusting as you can think. Um, I'm gonna rank it a 1 out of 10. I, I would go zero, but uh, I, don't, I don't even want to try it because it smells like not recommended. Yeah, it smells like something you shouldn't put in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, and speaking of something you shouldn't put in your mouth, I do not know what these are. They do not have a label on them. Um, they kind of look like they have the chili coating. So let's go ahead and get these out of the way. They look like mini uh, flaming hot Cheetos. Yeah, really small. Yep, yeah, I can almost guarantee it's not gonna be good. I'm gonna try it here. I'm not gonna make you try it. <laughs> Babe, these taste just like miniature flaming hot Cheetos. Really? I'm not even gonna lie. I'm gonna try another one here just so. There's another bite there though. Hmm. There's something off about it. Go, oh, I think you should try it. What do you think? Not bad. There's definitely a lime hint. Oh, yeah. Yeah, lime. as you're saying it, yeah, there's lime. I really taste chili powder. I do, but it's not like overboard. It, it's not like, um, obviously it's, there's a lot because these are bright red. But it's it's more like a Cheeto, Flaming Hot Cheeto consistency on the outside with a little lemon. But there's and, uh, other stuff in it. It's not just... Yeah. It's not just chili. Yeah. Like, it's it's surprisingly good. Yeah. Anybody know mm -hmm. what these are? Uh, Mexican treat, Mexican snack. They taste like miniature Flaming Hot Cheetos. I'm actually impressed with them. I thought they were mm -hmm. going to be gross. I'm going to rank them in... Uh, I'm gonna rank them an eight out of 10. Yeah, I'd say eight out of 10. Cause they, they could have a little bit more flavor. Yeah. Too, but um, 
I, they're still really good. I was expecting worse. Yeah, so. I was too. That's why I wanted to try them first because I didn't want you to have another gross snack. Um, I, I don't even know what this is. It looks like it's a cookie or something. It looks like a cookie or a cake. It's or paste. I don't know. I don't know. Mexican snacks are... They're unpredictable, it seems like. Peanut butter. Hmm, really? Yeah. It's like, um, it melts in your mouth. Wow. I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of peanut butter. But this is, for peanut butter snacks, um, not the worst that I've had. Um, I really can't describe it. If you take a Reese's peanut butter. Just take out the filling. Just take out the filling, add more. Nuts. I think There's nuts. There's nuts in there, yeah. I was gonna say more powdered sugar because this yeah, is there's... this is white. Oh, I don't like peanut butter, but I'm gonna rank it eight out of 10 as well, just because it's, it's not the worst snack in this video by far. What do you think? I think I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. Next is another sucker. Um, these look like ones that we've had over here, yeah. uh, like Halloween stuff like that. It's just look like a sugar candy. Sugar, yeah. Um, sure. Looks like mango and sh uh, mango and watermelon. Which one do you want, mango or? Oh yeah, mango, sure. Mango. I'll try the watermelon. Okay, so yeah, they just look like a typical candy. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just gonna try it here. Mm -hmm. Why well, it's not good? Mine's not bad. It's a bit sour, like a sour mango, but... Maybe it's that. I don't like sour. Mm -hmm. I don't taste watermelon in it, though. I taste sugar and ass. <laughs> want to try it? Sure. You want to try mine? After I describe it like that? Mm -hmm. Oh, it smells mango-y. Mm, watermelon's not, not great. This one's better. I just don't like it. <laughs> yeah, they're not great. Hard but. pass. Um, I'm gonna say one out of ten. Not something I would enjoy. Ours are better over here in Canada. Mm -hmm. um, our versions of that. That just was way too gross. I'd say a three out of ten. They're they're okay. They're not the best. So. Next, we have another sucker that I don't want you to try because I think it's going to be absolutely gross. Chili on it. I'm really concerned of what it is. Kind of looks like corn, but it's a sucker. It literally looks like corn on the inside. You guys can't see. I'm just gonna try it here. I'm not gonna make you do that. Yeah, one little lick. It's uh, <laughs> another chili coating. Zero out of 10, I absolutely hate those. So if you get a Mexi crate, expect to get some chili coated candy which are disgusting. Mm -hmm. Malvabon, strawberry chocolate, I hope. Mm -hmm. um, it has like a jello consistency to it. Uh, it's really soft. So this is what it looks like. It's really soft, mm -hmm. probably marshmallow. I know the marshmallow treats are gross. Do you want to try it first? Yeah, it smells good. It smells very sweet. Um, it's from the same company that did the peanut butter thing and then probably one more snack. Marshmallow for sure. Marshmallow? Uh, I don't like um, the Mexican marshmallow treats from the last video I didn't. Mm. Cheap chocolate, cheap marshmallow. Yeah. A little uh, strawberry line down the center. Yeah. We have okay. better marshmallow snacks over here. Um, zero out of 10 for me, I don't like it. Maybe a one out of 10, I don't know, not, not great. And now for something that We've been waiting till the end of the video to do. That is these little churro treats. And it's a pretty decent sized bag, look at that. Um, I like churros. So this is inside, it's like a tradi- all it says is a traditional something. So it's some kind of sauce. Let's try them plain first, to be honest. They're probably, ooh. <laughs> You want to just try it? Yeah. Okay. Pretty plain. Yeah. Um, hard. Corny. Yeah, it's uh, Christina's churros. So. I. Oh. Does not taste like churros. 
Mm. It doesn't know. It, oh, just it, says, like... it says Chorritos. Oh, Chorritos? Oh, yeah. I don't know what a Chorito Chorritos. is. Um, here, oh. let's try one with the sauce and see. Literally like a ketchup packet. It looks like mustard almost. Um, but, but it's brown. Yeah. It, maybe a caramel sauce. Is it? Oh my god, that's spicy. That's like a hot sauce. Mm. Try it at your own will. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> I'll just try a little bit. <laughs> yeah, try a little bit. I put too much. It's hot. It tastes like almost like a really spicy mustard. You know um, what? It's not bad, actually. It's almost like, you know, when you have pretzels, you put mustard on them. That's a thing. It's just like spicy mustard. Um, way too spicy for me. This sauce, I'd like to cook on some. Ah, too much. <laughs> um, like I was saying, I'd like to cook with it. Eating it like this is no hot. Mmm, gross. You want that? Cheers. I think it's a really good blend. The the sauce with the uh, Chorritos. I think it, they taste really good. Way too hot of sauce by itself though. These are nice though. We're just munching on them. Yeah, they taste um, good. I'm gonna rank these uh, 9 out of 10. Yeah, I'd say... I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to say that these are the best. I'd say a 10 out of 10. I really like how the mustard tastes with them. These just got first place. So if you plan on ordering a Mexi crepe for yourself to try out, I recommend trying it at least, but expect to get some gross candies that have a chili powder coating. Absolutely disgusting, bitter, and not great. For the most part of this video, I see right now in front of me maybe three or four snacks that we really enjoyed. Mm -hmm. Other than that, most most of the snacks that's included in the box are not the greatest of snacks. Just gross or just really cheap chocolate and its materials to begin with. Mm -hmm. Out of this whole video, compared to the last taste test we did, what would you rank the entire Mexi Crate box for today? I'd give it a probably 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10? Yeah. It's very generous. I would only rank the entire box as like a 4 out of 10 just because I'd expect more and better snacks, to be yeah. honest with you. And I think from now on, I think we're on the same page here. I think from now on, we would prefer munch packs because munch packs, yes, you only get 10 items for their medium box. However, those 10 items are full size snacks. So a full size small bag of chips, um, different treats like that inside it. The quality, and the quality is there too. Yeah, even though there's snacks from all over the world, they're really amazing quality snacks. These ones here that are included in Mexicrate are more on the cheaper side of things and not the tastiest. They're kind of gross for the most part, to be mm -hmm. honest with you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more for me and Ashley, let us know what you guys want to see. We are expecting to do more taste tests in the future. We have another munch pack on its way that we're going to be doing very soon. And we also have a hot sauce challenge and other videos that we might do. A couple of blindfold challenges and things like that. Mm -hmm. And we're happy to bring them to the channel and we honestly can't wait to do that because these videos are a lot of fun for us. Mm -hmm. Normally I'd like to record videos by myself, but whenever we do videos like this, there's a little bit more back and forth, so I enjoy recording these videos with you Me rather too. than by myself because yeah. they're a lot of fun. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please take care. Peace.